In this video, we're going to talk about the detail button. Okay, now, right now, we're in the action plan screen, and we just filled in step one for our action plan. Now, in step two, we put in the starting date and the ending date. Now, our client, Todd Allen, is going to be taking a four-week heavy equipment operator course starting in January 4th. Okay. Um, now, I, I put in the start date and the end date, and the detail button is in red. It should be in green. Red means that there's information that we still need to fill out. So let's click on the detail button, and this is the detail screen. Okay. Now, in the detail screen, there's uh, five parts that we have to fill in. Um, number one is the intervention code. Next is, is the not code then the funding spent and the project description and partnerships okay uh, now let's start with uh, let's start with the, on top here uh, you'll notice that we have dates the action plan start date and the intervention start date and end date there, we, there's nothing there to fill in okay uh, next we have the intervention code now because he's taken a heavy heavy equipment operator course I'll put down occupational skills training certificate now if I chose employment counseling, the word NOC is not beside it, and I would not have to put a NOC code in. But because this is skills training certificate, and the word NOC is beside it, I, I need to choose a NOC code. Now let's let's see if heavy equipment operator is on the list. Um, no, I don't see it, so we'll have to add it. So by clicking on the NOC button right here, I can click on Find and type in. The equip course operator. So I don't have to type in the whole word for every word, just heavy equip to you IP operator. And now on a PC, I'll press enter, on a Mac, I'll press return. So enter. And let's look for heavy equipment operator course. Oh, right there, heavy equipment, heavy equipment operator, right there. Okay, so now that I've, now that I've uh, selected from the favorites, put an X in there, I'll have to click Return and Update Favorites. And on my list is now Heavy Equipment Operator Operator right there. Okay, and uh, now, now let's spend some money here. Now let's say that this, uh, this four-week course is going to cost $8,000 for tuition. Okay, now the first thing I have to do is choose a funding tab where I want to spend the money. Now let's let's have a look at them. Now here's here's LM, which is the same as CRF for some people. Um, now I'll notice notice that I have my budget across here and what's remaining across here. Okay, so I, I noticed in LM my budget is forty thousand. I still have twenty two thousand left. Okay, if I try to use youth and it says remaining zero, if I go to January and say say eight thousand for tuition. As soon as I click out of it, it says you've gone over your budget by eight thousand. Press OK. Okay, now that's gone. Okay, so let's go to LM where I can see we have twenty two thousand left. In January I'll spend eight thousand. Okay. And there you go. Now my remaining budget is fourteen thousand. Okay. Um now let let's say that just for this example, I'm also going to use some youth dollars to pay for his books. So in EI, I'll say in February he needed books that which cost uh, 500. Now as soon as I click out of this box, that 20,856 becomes 20,356. Okay. Um, another thing I should point out too is that sometimes you'll notice that areas here are shaded in pink and you cannot get in there that is because the areas now become restricted because the um, the report has, has already gone uh, to, to service Canada for last quarter or last month and now becomes locked okay so we can still access this area here um, your administrator of your program would have access to unlocking and locking each month okay um, another thing I should mention also is that the PAL database does not take uh, decimal points. So let's say the, the books were $500 and 50 cents. So 500 point and this error comes up. Cannot use decimal points. So you should always round down. So $500 and 50 cents becomes 500. Okay. Okay. And um, one last point about this area is that 
anytime you see funding spent, you, you'll notice a dollar sign above the tab. So because I know that there's LM, there's money spent there. Uh, EI, I see because of that dollar sign above the tab. Okay. Next is a project description. Which is a, okay. By and so on. Okay. Um, put on as much information as you can in the project description. For example, if you if the if you're going to be providing childcare or where the training is, who's putting the training on, what is the training, um, anything you can add. Uh, the more the better for your project description. Okay. Uh, and last is partnerships. Now I'm not going to go into detail about partnerships, um, except to say that, that there is a separate video for this, but, but I'll go ahead, ahead and add a quick one. Let's say that the, um, let's say that the, that the, um, First Nation Economic Development is, pay, is paying for half of the tuition cost. Okay. So now when I hit return, there's a partnership right there. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, intervention code, not code, uh, amount spent, and the uh, description and the partnership all put in there. Um, now when I go back to action plan, that button will no longer be red. Now it's green. Okay. And there you have it. Um, oh, let's talk about uh, three ways to get to the detail screen. Of course, in, when you're in your action plan screen, click on details. Um, now for Todd Allen, our client, if we go to interventions and let's say open, where's Todd Allen? Right here. So click on his name in the list. Uh, let's go to expenditures. And I know I spent both LM and EI. So, if, so on the EI, I see Todd Allen on LM. I see Todd Allen, just click on the line. So three ways to get there. And that basically is it for um, intervention detail screen.